Let's get going. Moira dancing in spawn. That's a master's move. We've seen it before. Okay, good off angle. Don't mind this. Ooh. If we hit the right click there a little bit harder, he would have died. Don't disagree with this positioning. Okay. Now, chat, what is the first mistake that happened here? I want to see if you guys can find it. It's not isolated to the soldier player. It's isolated as a team issue. What is the biggest issue about going here? And where should we go instead? I've talked to you guys about this in length. What do we do if we lose the first fight? In this particular instance, where do we go? I mean, the positioning is wrong, but where do we go instead? I'm just checking if you guys did your homework, chat. I'm just checking. Go main. That is correct. We go main, chat. We do not go through here. All right. If you've lost the first point and they have a tank with a shield, this is not the way to go. There's no fucking way in hell that you're getting out of here alive. And even if you do, you're not going to get out unscathed. Chances of you getting out here is only going to happen if your entire team has ultimates and you press Q at the same time. That's how you win this fight. But normally speaking, you're literally wasting time. They have the point. You need to go main. I don't disagree with that shift, but it wasn't the best. You can play up a little bit further up here. So, a funny little thing, I want to mention this to you because Reaper is really good at this. Um, if they take a position like this where you're fighting and the run is sticking his head out, you can actually play over here. This is actually not a bad spot for you. Um, playing here around this little thingy right here allows you to jump and get full damage off your off your can't even talk have an aneurysm sorry you can play over here and you can jump here consistently up and down and get full damage from your shotgun right so you can play right there and it also allows you to shift back to the uh, the healing thing if you really need to or you can just take a left side position with the with the shift as well but i don't think playing there with a reaper is ever a good idea you should play up here like you want to be a force to be reckoned with if you're playing further back you get no value right so we always want to put ourselves in a position to get value yeah <laughs> I don't know what I'm watching right now. Where do we see me on my bike? What the fuck is happening? Um, yeah, no, we want to play further up to uh to kind of get the full value out of our shotguns, right? So try and keep that in mind. Playing over there, you get no value. Playing over here, we get maximum value. Try and keep that in mind. All right, here on this little wooden thing here. Jump, do damage. Jump, do damage. If you have to play Reaper, okay? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, hold on. Hold on here. Can we can we look back at that real quick? Uh, I feel like you were behind the cover there perfectly. But honestly, you should have played that better. Chat, he should have just played better. He should have dodged it. People know how to use bat window. It's a good bat. Oh, we're going soldier in chat. It's time. Okay, so I, I want to bring up something to you, right? So I feel like we're not really utilizing the fact that the enemy team doesn't have any way to get to you if you're high ground, right? You're playing soldier, okay? And who the fuck is going to bother you if you jump out on the elephant right here, right? If you jump out on this fat little elephant right here, the fat little elephant, you know, the, the one with tusks and the little crown. If you jump up here, who the fuck is going to stop you? They have Ryan, they have Reaper, they have Symmetra, they have Bath, they have Kiriko. Yeah, you might get harassed by Kiriko, but playing up here is literally free. Utilizing any type of high ground against this comp, you win for free, right? Or until they swap, at least. If, if you play up here and the Reaper decides to come after you or whatever, you can use, like, if he comes to the left, you can play on the right side. If he comes to the right, you can play on the left side. Then all of a sudden, you're having him here trapped and you can focus on whatever goes on the point. And not only that, you have better vision of how to place your rails. She might teleport to you, but it also kind of gives you a way out. You can always shift your way out, right? your slide and if she uses her teleporter then you're getting cooldowns out anyway so it's a win it's a win-win always or you can be like this may or you can be like this may right here who is not all there and it's not going too well yeah you can jump up there with the slide 
and you can use that positioning until they decide to go for you. And if they go for you, you can slide away. Yeah. I feel like we're playing on low ground a little bit too much right now. You can also play on the left side. Like, when I know that my team isn't doing well enough, I like helping up here, back and forth. Up here, do a little bit of damage, get a real gun charge, get the real gun by shooting the Rhine shield or Rhine himself, get that 100, and then start trickling on someone else. Like, the, the main thing I use tanks for when I play Sojourn is a way to build my ult and a way to build my real gun. If I have 90 to 95 real gun charge, I start trickling on someone else. Could be Kirko, could be any support, could be any DPS. It, the thing is, if you focus on the tank first to build your ult charge or to build your railgun charge, the tank is going to be focusing on you, right? Not the one that you're swapping to. So if you swap to a target with a 100 railgun, they're not going to expect it. They never do. But they will expect it if you're trying to build your railgun charge off them. Everyone has this internal clock in their head that you know they see, well they also see your real gun charge but if you if you do the swap quickly left click and then right click to finish them off they're never gonna have the time to react that's usually how it works but if you start shooting at them they're gonna know straight away um and i like playing from here this is a good angle and if the right want to chase you down then you can slide up here again and then you have the same positioning again just higher so right now we're playing on low ground i don't like it um we're playing a character that can go up and down as much as he wants and we're not really utilizing the strength Oh, nice shot. Something. What's going wrong here, chat? All right. Let's see if chat did their homework. What is he doing wrong by pressing overcock here? There are two fat mistakes that are happening right now. Two. Why the tank? Well, that's that's one. And no pew pew. That's two, right? What do we always do in between our railgun shots, chat? If you use your primary fire in between every railgun shot, you will, on average, get about two to three more railguns out per ultimate, which is very, very good. That's like the difference between zero damage and almost 400 extra, right? So always use primary in between railgun shots. Like, literally always. Like, don't don't stop shooting prim primary. Always utilize both. Second of all, why are you focusing the run here? We used overcock. We killed the reaper. You could have slid into the position on the right, you know, to the right of us right here, where we would have had basically a free view of what's going on. Is is Lucio dabbing? You could have slid here to the right. You kill the Reaper, you go right side. Here. You 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 have a better position than you had previously. Playing up there, you're kind of limiting yourself. Again, playing right side, you have a full view of what's going on in the main. And you can shoot the Baptiste, you can shoot whoever comes up and trying to target you. But also, you get a free charge on the Rhine. And if the Rhine decides to go for you, he's going to die to your team. If the team looks at them, you get a free kill on the Rhine. So don't ever play like that. You get a kill on the Reaper, take an aggressive position on the right side with Overcock, and then only move away when the, it's about to fade, okay? Uh, sorry. So Kiriko to your right. Kiriko to your right. Nice. Nice. Alright, alright. We seem a little bit more comfortable. I love how my FPS, even in the VOD, goes down to 150. Oh, almost got a kill there. Yeah, we can we can play right side because we have a junkyard spamming, so this isn't bad. You just have to rush out for the hook. Yep, there it was. See, chat? If you're Torbjorn there, and you didn't jump, you would survive, but the Torben jumped, and then he got killed. Our oh, Luso's feeding a little bit. That was unfortunate. All right, you got one more fight. Moira ult and Overcock against Hoggold and Lucio and Kiriko. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Dead. Lucid. Lusted couple things i want to talk about when you're a reaper we're playing too far away right you need to be a little bit more reckless if you're playing reaper the value comes off of the damage you do if you're standing from far away mm -mm, no damage coming out that's bad all right no no stand far away stand close find ways to uh play closer to where they're coming up from or where they're at i don't think reaper is necessarily a bad pick i don't disagree with it but yeah that's how i want to play with reaper now when you start a soldier i kind of saw what you were going for but like i pointed out before is that if you lose the first fight top left you want to play main instead keep that in mind as well that's a huge tip and the way i play that is sustain i sustain damage try and get a rocket in every now and then but if i get boat if i get jumped on i kind of move away right so rinse repeat for that until i have a visor and then i take a more of aggressive position i always do that if you 
I top left? Never go back the same way. If you play Reaper, always find ways and options to stand close and do the most damage. Shift is a powerful tool. We should use it to our advantage. It felt more like Shift was more like a panic button for you, but Shift can also be a powerful tool to get from point A to point B on Skater. So keep that in mind. Right. Second, we're playing a uh, little, little Miss, Miss Sojourn here. Primary fire in between the rails. You're missing out on three to four rails every single overcock that you're doing. Like our, our nine incher went to two incher because we're in primary firing. So get that going, right? Every time you rail, you shoot primary fire and it, you'll see how much faster it reloads and charges, right? Just keep that in mind. Always primary fire between the right click. We need to press tab sometimes to kind of understand what we're up against, right? On that second point, I feel like we could have done so much more. Sure, we won it, but it wasn't clean. Positioning is everything. And you're up against the Symmetra and Reaper or Symmetra and a Junkrat. All you need to care about is listening to the teleporter, right? And you can take and get away with a lot more shit when you play against a comp like that. And I felt like you could have taken control of that game much earlier. Instead, it came down to the last fight, but it didn't have to. If you position yourself top left or on the elephant, uh, you have enough time to slide away in case they do use a teleporter because there's a slight delay to it. And I want you to take a more of aggressive high ground position. Not equal position, but high ground position. So if they do that shit, um, you move away. But if they don't, you have a free overview of the entire fight the entire time. Keep that in mind as well. I think if you combine and compress all those tips, you try to integrate that into your gameplay, I think you'll do a lot better. And that pretty much wraps that video up. Some closing words. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate y'all. If you guys want to find out more about me and you can't get enough of me, you can watch me at twitch.tv slash We stream every single day at 11 p.m. PST. Thank you so much.